Hi, welcome to a quick overview of the Tremos Altea. First we're going to look at the Altea hardware. This is the probe. We have a quick release which you can use by the top and bottom button. What you want to make sure is that you really seat the probe well um, inside. Here's our hand wheel. Also on the hand wheel we have a fine adjust. And the fine adjust can be utilized by slightly depressing in the adjustment knob and turning. On the front of the gauge is a lock. The back of the gauge has your charger. For quick probe traversing you can grab the handle and move up and down. Now we're going to explain the keypad functions. Upper right hand corner is the on off switch. Next to that is your probe constant. That can be used to set the probe constant or check it. We have our resolution button. This is our reference 1, reference 2 button that allows you to have an incremental and floating zeros as well as a fixed absolute reference point. The inch metric button does a direct conversion from inch to metric at any time. We also have our min max delta button which will allow you to record the minimum, maximum and difference between min max or delta. This is our zero button. Our function button for switching between diameter and surface to surface mode. Print button and preset. To set the probe constant, uh, this will happen after you turn the instrument on. It's very important that you do this. Bring the probe down on the normal surface of the artifact. You'll see the display icon change. Then you can bring it on the inverted surface and that sets your ball size or what we call the probe constants. Very important to always have the constant correctly set. Now we'll take a measurement with the Altea. Simply bring the probe down to your surface plate, make a zero point, and move the probe to the point to be measured. As soon as you apply pressure, the measurement is stored. Bore measuring is very simple to do on the Altea, just requires a couple more steps. First we want to use the function button to put us in diameter mode. Now we bring the probe in near the bottom of the bore and sweep the low point. Then we simply bring the probe up, apply pressure, and sweep the high point. The diameter is locked in the display. As soon as we release the measuring pressure, we're going to actually see the center line from our last zero. External diameters are also as simple to do. Simply sweep the low point of the external, come up, sweep the high point, and the diameter will be locked in. Slots are done the same way. Start on the low point, bring it up, measure the high point. To measure min max on the Altea, we first depress the min max button, then sweep over our object. By using the min max button, we can then cycle between min, max, and delta modes. Okay, now we're going to do some measuring with datums using our ref1 and ref2. First, we set zero at the surface plate. Switch over to the diameter mode using the function button. And I'm going to sweep the low point of the bore. Come up, sweep the high point. Once I do that, the measurement will lock on to the bore diameter. As soon as I release the measuring pressure, I'll get my center line distance of the first bore to the surface plate. I can go into ref 2 and 0. Now I've set an incremental floating datum. Simply continue up by measuring the second bore, sweep the low point, sweep the high point. Once I release, I get the center line distance between my two bores. By pressing the ref key again, I get my overall distance to that center line. Then I can zero again in ref 2, switch over to 
switch back to normal surface mode. Get my upper bore center line to the top and my overall height. Very easy to string the measurements together this way and get incremental, floating, and absolute datums out of the gauge.